Dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum 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 Hello folks, this is David Lentz. Um, first of all, I'm recording this on my uh, UCAM on my uh, laptop computer, uh, this in introduction, but the actual footage that you're going to see was done with my camcorder. The video quality is much better, so uh, that's one thing you need to be aware of. Number two, uh, because a lot of this was filmed late at night uh, and I had neighbors right through the wall over here, uh, I could not really turn up the system, so you're not going to get a sense when you hear either the, the system playing or me singing, heaven forbid, uh, a good result in either case because I couldn't turn the system up and uh, uh, because and I have some you know mercy on my neighbors, so to speak. Uh, also, I am not a, a sound engineer or an electrician, and I have never run a karaoke system before in my life so what I'm showing you is what worked for me I did not understand the manufacturers operating manual that's a big reason why I'm doing the video so this works for me and I'm hoping that I can save you some time and some heartache believe me um, but uh, if the owner's manual says differently, or if your equipment is different, your results may be different. I, you know, you could blow up your system, you know, uh, electrocute yourself. I don't know, but I'm showing you what works for me. So uh, be forewarned. Uh, so you assume the risk in that sense. Um, like I said, the video quality and the sound quality is better than what you're going to see here, but. The pictures that you're going to see are actually very clear and they will help you hook the system up. Okay, one final word here. Uh, this is not a commercial. I'm not officially reviewing these products. Uh, but just to give you some idea of what I'm dealing with here, this is, uh, I'm dealing with a, a Syntronic KA550 MK2 uh, amplifier, a Syntronic KTV. 9000 UHD karaoke player and a Syntronic UHF 550M microphone stand and the television that I'm using is uh, an LG LED TV um, so I'm just giving you some idea of what I'm dealing with uh, so anyway thought I'd let you know that. Yes, and lest I forget to say it, the amplifier is on the bottom, the karaoke player is in the middle, and on top is the microphone receiver or stand or whatever it's called. We're going to look at most of what you're going to see in this video is, is viewing those uh, uh, pieces of equipment from the rear because that's where all the wiring is. So anything that's on the bottom is the amp, the middle is the karaoke player, and the top is the microphone stand. Thanks. Hello folks, okay, here we go. Um, I'm just gonna say this, if, uh, if you understand this portion of the video, and don't need to see actually the, the visuals on this, you probably don't need to watch the rest of the video. But I'm gonna briefly tell you what I'm about to show you. So. Here goes. Make sure the power strips and all your power is off. Hook up your power connections last. Don't do all your wiring and handling of electrical components with the power on. That goes without saying. Get power strips. I use two here. 
with surge protection. So if it lightnings or you get a surge in power supply, you don't destroy your equipment. That sort of goes without saying. I am not an electrician. I'm not a professional karaoke person. I'm showing you my setup because it works for me and because I could not make heads or tails out of the owner's manual provided by the manufacturer. In this case, it's a, a synchronic system and I'm not saying good, bad, or indifferent about it. I'm just saying, I'm just telling you how I hooked up my system and maybe you can find this beneficial. All right, there's going to be like, I think, six steps. I'm not going to show you all of the mic hookups yet um, or the use of the karaoke. Uh, I'm going to reserve, what I'm saying is, I'm going to reserve the, the discussion of, of the mic hookup for later in the video, a different section of the video, uh, the programming of the components, uh, you know, sort of the computer type stuff. I'm going to show you that in a separate portion of this video. I'm not going to show you how, how to look up, hook up the laptop into the system, but I am going to show you briefly in another portion of the system how to use the karaoke remote. But just in terms of the wiring here to begin with, here's the way things get wired together. First, we're going to hook up the karaoke player to the amp. Then we're going to hook up the speakers to the amp. Then we're going to hook up the antenna, the antennas on the mic receiver and on the karaoke player. Then we're going to hook up the karaoke player to the TV. And then we're going to hook up the mic receiver to the amp. And then we're going to hook up the uh, electrical power of the mic receiver, the karaoke player, the amp, and the TV to the, uh, we're going to hook that into the um, uh, power strip. Okay, so first of all, you're, what we're going to do is, is we're going to hook the karaoke player to the amp, which in my case is also a mixer. That means it not only increases the sound out to the speakers, but it also blends the sound the, the treble, the bass, left, right, what have you, um, and the various components, left, right microphone, all that kind of stuff, makes it sound pretty. So <clears throat> we're going to hook the first the karaoke player to the end. Here you hook, you use the RCA, what's known as the RCA 1 8 inch cable. That's what it's just called. I don't know if these are RCA cables or not. Um, and it's going to have, it's the plug that has the red white and yellow ends or plugs on both ends we do not use the yellow here because i use that's the audio i mean that's the video hookup i use a different system here to hook up the video i use hdmi and not the rca cable but i do use the rca cables to hook the red and white portions to hook the uh, karaoke player to the amp so if the yellow portion of that plug is left dangling that's okay don't you're not doing something wrong that's okay it's going to not be used it's just going to hang there the uh so anyway so you plug in the rca cable the uh into the av that's the av output area of the karaoke player you put red in the red air hole white in the left hole uh and then you that's in the karaoke player itself in the AV output hole. And then on the amp input area, it's called the input area, you plug in with white to left, red to right, and again you don't hook up the yellow portion of the cable. Okay, then we're going to hook up the two speakers to the amp. And so we're going to do what I'm about to tell you twice, once for each speaker. You hook to do this, you each end of the special speaker cables is going to have a black and a blue plug for each one red goes to red and blue goes to the black hole that's red goes to the red hole blue goes to the black hole so you do that for both areas now those plugs are kind of unique they look sort of like almost like a big fat dentist dr drill is what they remind me of um, but that's what you need to remember there and uh, in the amp section uh, in the speaker it's easy to tell where they go because there's only one one area to connect anything and that's where you connect the uh, speaker cable 
On the amp, you connect the speaker cable to the area called speaker system section A. We don't use section B. We use only section A. You'll see there's going to be two speakers, a left and a right speaker in the section A area. And for both of those speakers, you connect the red end of the cable to red and the blue end of the cable to black. So remember the third thing we're going to do, we're going to hook up the antennas. This is easy. The antennas in this system, they sort of look like big pens, writing pens. Uh, you hook up two into the mic receiver under antenna. It says Ant A and Ant B. That's in the mic receiver, the top box. There's two areas, Ant A and Ant B. Put one antenna in each of those. In the karaoke player, you also hook up one antenna. That goes in the hole that says antenna. <laughs> All right, number four. You're going to hook the karaoke player to the TV. Uh, in this video, we don't use the RCA cables to do the video, so we use HDMI cables. And there's a HDMI, there's two HDMI slots in my TV. For some reason, I put my HDMI one end into the HDMI two slot. I think it's because I found it first. Um, and the other end goes into the other end of the H, HDMI cable goes into the karaoke player in the hole that says HDTV, high definition TV. So that's how you cook, hook up the karaoke player to the TV. Okay, the next thing you do is is that you hook up the mic receiver to the amp. Okay, to do this, at the back of the mic receiver, there's a mix-out hole. It's called a mix-out hole. You hook in one area of that into around. You go around with the cable to the front, to the front of the amp. In the top left, there's an area called mic one. You hook, you plug in to the mic one area. So you go from the back in the mix-out hole of the uh, mic receiver to the front of the amp in the mic one hole. That cable is in my system is a short thick plug. It looks like they look like big headphone plugs. Okay, and then you hook up the power strips, you know, in the you hook up the mic receiver. You uh, you plug in the power uh, from the box that says DC input on the mic receiver to the power strip. On the karaoke player you hook in the um, the power to the area that says AC 90-240 volts, 240V, 50 hertz slash 60 hertz. That's the hole you plug in there, and you plug the other end into the power strip. And then you um, hook up the amp to the power strip. Uh, the amp hookup area is the area marked AC input 110V50 slash 60 hertz. Uh, you hook in there and the other end goes into the power strip and actually naturally the TV plug is, comes with the television and you hook you plug that into the power strip and then if you've turned the buttons on the power buttons on the top top of the systems on and you turn on the power your surge protectors if you turn the surge protectors on uh, the system uh, should come on so if you understand all that right there you probably cut out a lot of this video but that's a short summary of what is going to happen and I we will talk about the programming the the, the hookup or making the microphones work uh, I will do a video on using the karaoke remote to find songs will not do anything at this point on hooking up the laptop Thanks for joining us and stay tuned. So that's the system. The bottom is the amplifier mixer. The middle object is the karaoke player. And the top box is the microphone receiver. As you can see, now I want to show you one thing. Now, down here, notice this because this is right from the bed. I'm going to show you something that's a little bit unique. Uh, I think it's unique. Maybe it's not. Everything is hooked up to the back of those three boxes. The amplifier, the karaoke player, and the microphone receiver. But um, interestingly enough, the connection between the microphone receiver 
at the top and the amplifier at the bottom the connection to the amplifier as you can see plugs in right there where it says mic one up there in the upper left so that's a little interesting tidbit and this is what and it looks like that in the back on the other end too I'm just showing you that up front because I'm going to spend most of my time looking at the back of these uh, boxes as I said the amplifiers on the bottom the karaoke player itself is in the middle and uh, the uh, microphone receivers on top sorry about that now I'm just going to show tell you that uh, there are so many ways to control the volume there's volumes for the uh, microphones up here as you can see and that's at the karaoke player the uh, the uh, the mics uh, receiver also has their own volume controls um, and actually since this is karaoke we need a visual monitor a video monitor uh, you can actually control the volume through the TV too now I will just tell you that um, I'm not gonna I have neighbors right through the wall here and I can't turn the system up but I could blow the roof off this place, believe me. And um, and I'm just going to tell you, be very, very careful about uh, the, I will control the volume down here. And as you can see, I've got the volume way set, way low. And that's plenty of volume. Uh, so be very careful when you set it up naturally. Uh, let me just say this, when you set this up, this is a very important point, make sure that uh, your, uh, I use uh, power strips um, and uh, as you can see um, and uh, with surge protection on it, I would make sure that everything is off and unplugged while you're trying to connect everything. I'm not an electrician, but please exercise caution and safety, there's the other power strip I, I'm using two of them okay all right so let me put the camera down for the video camcorder down for a second while I switch this around um, I am going to get more technical with the explanation even though I'm not an electrician or a sound engineer or anything else I'm a rookie <laughs> for sure but this works for me so I'm just going to tell you what it's all about and, uh, and here's the back of the system. I may as well show you that I've got two of these Singtronic uh, speakers. Like I said, this is not a commercial, but that's just to show you what I'm hooking up. Okay, let me just come around here and uh, show you that. Let's let's just give you a, a thumbnail here to begin with. Um, the uh, You're looking right now at an area. The this is the hookup between the uh, karaoke player and the uh, amplifier. And that's the amplifier down there. Here's the hookup. And as you can see, we're going to put it in the Harry the karaoke player output right and left. Red is right, white is left. Now it took me a long time to figure out what this thing is, but we're never going to use this on this system. This, uh, because of the type of wiring we're going to use on the way I'm doing it. But this is an RCA, I think one, I think it's called an RCA one eighth inch cable. And uh, this is actually for video, but we're going to hook up video using something other than the yellow. Red is for right, white is for left, into the karaoke player output connection. And it's going to come down here into an area where auxiliary over there on the right input. 
So we're going to have output from the karaoke box up there down to input here, in the lower right of the amplifier. Again, white is to left, red is to right. Okay, that hooks up basically the sound aspect of the uh, what's going to happen in the karaoke box, karaoke player, and push it through the amplifier. The next thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to hook the speakers up. And there's our speaker, and it's going to be hooked in down here. Now, I'm not going to take those out. Now, since we have two speakers, we have a, uh, again, red is, to, uh, red is to the positive, and red is to the positive. You can see we have red wires. Now, these, these come from two different speakers. This is one speaker here, and it has a red and blue wire. And that's this side over here. And the other speaker is hooked up to here and here over here. And the red, and there's two, as you can see, each of these cables breaks off into a red and a blue wire. The blue one goes into the black in the bottom, and the red goes to the top, the red wire. Okay, so, and we do, this is one speaker this side, and that's the other speaker, the other side, the left and right speaker. Red is to positive, blue, black is to negative on both of those. Okay, now, if we'll just do a brief quickie here on the, uh, I'm sorry for the mess. Now, interestingly enough, I'm not going to talk about these hookups too much, but again, it's the red is to the right and the blue is to the left. Now, it took me a long time to figure out how to insert these things. These, these little characters gave me a little bit of trouble because the first time you put them in, you've got to give it a little bit of a boost and you don't want to do that because it's, too sen it's a very sensitive equipment naturally but this thing goes in here you don't have to, after you do it a couple times you don't have to push very hard at all but initially um there you go and so that hooks in the blue is to black and the red wire is to uh red um so there you go like that in each speaker, naturally, there are two speakers. There's the other one. I'm go by my, and I won't do the same thing for that one, but I do do the same thing for that one. And I just want to point out, there's our TV. And uh, let me just say that. So that's how you. So you, that's how you hook up the speakers down here again. Okay, all right, so that's that. Let me sort of pull this out of the way so you get a better shot of that. Okay, so. All right, now the other thing is, is you gotta hook up the antennas. There are three of them. One antenna, I don't wanna pull these out. Well, let's see, I hate to do this, but. So you can I pull this? No, it's screwed in there. But they screw out and screw in, and there's three of them. One goes right in. This is the karaoke player, and it goes into that little box that says antenna of all things. How about that? That's where it says antenna. And up here, that's on the uh, karaoke box, as you can see. It's the, this is the middle karaoke box. That's that antenna. It has one. The mic stand has two antennas, presumably for the two wireless microphones that this system comes with. And they go into the two slots that are marked, interestingly enough, Ant A, and over here, 
and B. Okay, now I showed you at the very beginning of this video the hookup between the carry, no, excuse me, the mic receiver up here on the top and the amplifier at the bottom. As you can see, this cord, which is a very small short cord but thick, goes from the front where I showed you at the beginning of the video where it says mic on the amplifier over here to where it says, um, if you go in here, it says, uh, I think that's, uh, what's it say, mix out, mix out, right in there. So, that is uh, how that hookup works. Um, All right, so we've shown the hookups, and naturally the power, the lat, like I said, the power strip should be off when you're hooking these things up. And then uh, the last thing I always do, and I make sure that my power strips are off when I do this to begin. I don't, I have mine on right now because my system is already hooked up, but I have my power strips off with surge protection. <laughs> and then. Um, Naturally, the television has its own power cord, which hooks to a power strip. And the amplifier here, and the karaoke system, and the mic box all hooked and connect to the other power strip. You can have one if you want, that doesn't matter. Here is the connection of the power to the uh, amplifier. Down here in the lower left, you can see it says AC input. So that means you're inputting the power at that box. And for the karaoke player, you come over here and it says AC, on well, mine it says AC 90-240V, 50 hertz slash 60 hertz, caution. And as you can see, it's a female, excuse me, it's a female plug that plugs into the system right here. Right there. And down here, of course, it's the same kind of situation. I'll try to, as you can see, it's a female plug into the male portion is on the amplifier itself, as you can see. Now, by comparison, the, uh, the mic stand up here has its plug-in at a place that's called DC input. It's a teeny tiny little connection and it looks like that sort of looks like that and it goes DC input. There we go. So that's all that. So yeah. that is the power connections to the three thing and as you can see on the other end this is the uh, this thing over here is the uh, that's the other end of the mic receiver connection to the power strip right there. So those are the hookups. Um, now we're just going to do the television. We're going so basically we have the karaoke pumping information into the amplifier, which sends it out to the speakers. We have the mic stand with connection to the amplifier to also pump it out to the speakers. So we're all, now the only thing we gotta do is take care of the visual part. And like I said, with this RCA jack, um, we're not using, because we're gonna use a different hookup. We're gonna use HDMI connections to our TV set, which is over here. Uh, we have an LG TV and we don't represent LG and we're not making a uh, video about LG TVs. Uh, but this, I'm just going to turn this thing around to try to show you. connections. Now of course the television has it. This is the power. This is the, comes with the TV. This is the power for the TV that plugs in down to the power strip. Comes in right here. Now here's the hookup. This is 
the HD now there's an HDMI connection under here under the bottom and it's labeled as HDMI you can see it in the slot I don't know if I can get under there but I'm not using that one why I don't know I guess it's because I found the other HDMI connection first <laughs> I put the system together but here's an HDMI connection over here let me put this down for a second here here as you can see there's the HDMI cable that's what it looks like it goes in here where it says HDMI 2 I think so let me put it in Ugh. So that's HDMI connection. And where does that connect? Over here. Well, I'm sorry for the rough video here, but this is tough to do singularly. Um, where is it? Where did I do this? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Here is where that, that does not, the TV does not connect to the amplifier or the mic stand the TV connects to the karaoke box so that the karaoke player can pump information to the TV and that's how we get our video okay so here's and so the HDMI plug the other end of the HDMI plug which we connected with the TV just showed you that this now gets connected where it says HD Over here where it says HD TV. It's HD TV. And so, which is right below the antenna in my situation. And uh, there it is. I'm wiggling the wire. It's this one here. Right below that antenna. So here it is, right here. Alright, so that's how the TV gets hooked up to the karaoke uh, player. Okay, let's uh, take a chance here and see if we can get a connection. I hope everything is snug. It's so easy to botch things up when you're doing all this. So I got my two antennas, my one antenna. And we should be ready to go. I'm going to put the video or the camcorder down for a second. Excuse me. Let's see what we can come up with. very important this is our karaoke remote that comes with a karaoke player this this the, uh, with the Singtronic karaoke player this comes with the uh, television naturally okay let's power up okay folks uh, one th thing I didn't mention in the video was the setup of the antennas a few of the pictures that I'm going to show you are going to deal with that subject as well as uh, I've you're gonna, I'm actually going to present my handwritten notes on how to hook this up. So if you want to stop it, maybe you can find something of value there. Again, read the instruction manual. I, for one, ha had great difficulty understanding it. To me, it's for electronics experts, uh, not for somebody like me. Anyway, that's a, the big reason why I'm doing this video. Uh, Aaron Lentz is going to, my brother is going to do the uh, settings portion of the video. And then I'm going to come back and show you how to use the, uh, the remote. We're not going to plug in the laptop computer uh, here. We're just going to show you how to use the remote supplied by uh, the manufacturer.
dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da da dum da 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 Dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum da dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum 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 da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum dum da da dum dum da 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 dum 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 All right, so you, we just turned on the TV, right? Yeah. And now, how did you get to the foggy screen? Well, that was I just put it on a different input. You, you know, when you hook this up, you'll you'll most likely your TV might not be on the proper. Uh, okay. Well, input. let's can we back up and just start from the from the, begin from the begin. <laughs> well, okay. All right. All right. It's connecting. Okay. Good. Because that's this is okay. Now, when we first turn on the TV. Um, We've already got hooked into a, the port HDMI 2, which you can see in the upper left-hand portion of the screen here, um, above the pretty girl with the, the karaoke voice. Uh, she's singing there. Uh, Aaron uh, is going to show us how to uh, set, do the settings on the TV to properly hook it into the karaoke player. Is that correct? Yeah, so I think when you initially set up and connect your TV to your karaoke player and you get to the screen, you might not, if you actually go into the karaoke player, you might not initially get sound because you need to go to your settings through the karaoke player and change to the SPDFI setting. So I'm going to go and just show you where that setting is settings so here's also the network setting which we'll get to when hooking up to Wi-Fi but you go to sounds and then I believe it's digital sounds yeah so you'll want to go down to SPDIF and select that the system doesn't automatically start you on SPDIF. Um, I'm not a, an audio engineer by any stretch, so I don't I mean, even know. Let me ask you a question. Why, why, why is it, maybe you don't know, why wouldn't it be HDMI instead of SPDIF? I do not have an answer for that. <laughs> okay, I mean, no, because that would that would stump you. So you're saying if you set up the karaoke player to the television set and you don't get sound, to go down to let's zoom in here to uh, SPDIF. You actually dollied in. You didn't zoom. I don't. That's the bottom one there and you select that one yeah and that's how I did it with we previously were working with a different television um, you know I'm hoping I didn't make a big gaffe here and because it was a different television you know you, you've got on this TV this auto detection which I have no idea how 
how great that that is. I mean, whether it, it works regularly or not. Okay. So we select SPDIF, and then we can back out. How do you back out um, on the? There's there's a return button to kind of just back step one layer. Uh -huh. um, I guess perhaps the exit is might be a more um, take you to the menu, or maybe it doesn't work in this. There is. Well, I'll just back out one step at a time using return. Using the return button, okay. Yeah. So, that should have us hooked up to All right, we want to check to see if it's working on the sound. There it is. Okay. Yeah. All right, now that's the default system working right there. It just constantly plays if you click the pretty girl and then <laughs> try to get into karaoke. There will always be a video going. Yeah, they... That's not something we selected, so that will automatically pop up. Um... Do you want to talk about hooking to microphones? Well, let's do that last. Can we do that last? I don't. Okay. You want to talk about hooking up to Wi-Fi? Right. Okay. So let's go. Okay, that's menu actually. So using the orange colored exit button. Should I point it? Put. Yep. Right. Using the orange colored exit button, we can go back to this uh, startup menu. It's up there in the upper left. Yep, just below the power button. Okay. And so we are already hooked up to Wi-Fi, but when you need to go to hook up your Wi-Fi initially, you will go to the settings again, and it's very clearly labeled. The first option is network. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's over there on the upper left. Yes. Okay. You clicked on it. So we select that. And of course, it's our Wi Fi is connected, but when you're not connected, it'll be there and you just click on it. You'll that. have your, right, whatever Wi Fi options are in the area, just like when you hook up your, your laptop or computer to a to a network. Now we we had you had to have the code to get in to get it connected, right? Well, for well, Alcatel, right? Sure, yeah. Okay. Who, whoever, right. You'll have to just like you would with a laptop hooking it up to a network for the first time. You have to put in the network password or or key. Okay. So yeah, so that that hooks you up to the internet. Okay. Is, now. Okay. So you would have to have that. To, now, here's here's my question. We started out connected to the internet, right? And then we got back to where it says network. If we didn't have internet connection to begin with, would that screen right there appear? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it would. It's just when that's you it, that's that's in the television itself. That that screen. Yeah, that's part of the karaoke player's menu. I mean, it's a you know, whatever you want, a sub-menu, once okay. you go into settings. You know, these, right, network display, sounds, uh, apps, storage and reset, but I'm sure all of these options appear no matter what, the, just the difference being if you were out in the sticks or something where there weren't, wasn't a, a Wi-Fi around and you went to network, there would be no options for you to connect to. All right. Um, so what are you okay? So what are you where are you going with this now? Um hook KP to the cloud. Um Well that after you hook it to your Wi Fi, does it automatically come up to what screen would appear automatically once 
once you clicked into Wi-Fi and you had your television on or your monitor on, um, you're just going to be left with this same same screen. It'll just let you know that your Wi-Fi is connected. All right. So th there, I'm, I'm from there. Now, show the people how you get to the main karaoke screen again. Okay. So menu maybe. Well, that menu takes you actually, that's not the kind of opening screen. It's more of that kind of boxed across the screen like music's already playing. It's kind of into its, uh, you know, automatic intro. Yeah, so when I hit menu from this settings screen, it doesn't do anything. All right, um, try to get back to the karaoke screen then. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm a return kind of guy, which might make me slow, but... You know, I backstep one at a time. Oh, okay. All right. So you're hitting the return button right now. Yes. Show them that button again, okay? Which is right here yeah. in the blue portion of buttons. So it's just, upper left. You're just backing out right now. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. And that takes us to the, the opening interface. Okay. Um, so are we now connected to the... At this point, you're saying we're if, since we've clicked into the Wi-Fi already, the Wi-Fi is going to automatically send us to this screen, uh, or, or we could use the backup mechanism that you just did to get to this screen. Right. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. So now we're connected to the cloud, or you know, wherever this stuff comes from. Um. We've uh, talked about the potential sound problem and how to get rid of that. And um, uh, so now I guess, there's a little list here. Okay, um, what do you want to do next? The microphones? Sure. All right. So the microphone player, of course, is the box that's on the top of karaoke player. All right, now I, what was the deal on these microphones here? The yeah, mic I think I think for maybe feedback reasons, you don't want the uh, the microphone too close to the the receiver. Now the instruction manual has about seven or eight different microphones that they talk about, but that's the ones we have. Okay. Right. Probably only and need these, one. Here, yeah, here and too. these are these are wireless. Um, they so you're so you're working through a frequency that connects with the uh, the antennae on the uh, microphone box or on right. the microphone's receiver. Yeah, I don't know if the receiver is the right term or not. But so with this version of microphone, I want you, to move your hand up a little bit. You're not quite. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let Let me back up and see if I can get a little more light on you. Come on. Um, let's try this. Turn this way a little bit. So once you put your batteries into the bottom of the mic... Double A's or triple A's. They're triple A batteries. Triple A's, right. Then you, it's pretty simple. You just hold this power button and you'll see the LED light up. And... See, so you can see it. Well, I just turned it off, but... You can barely see the button there, but there's the button. When the LED comes on, it'll give you the information of what frequency that microphone is currently on. You'll want to match that up. It probably will when you turn on the, the receiver. Is, yeah. the, the frequencies will be the same, but you want to make sure that your, yeah. your microphone is on the same frequency. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. There. Darn it. 50. You can see it's 050 at the top up there. This is mic 1 and that in fact does match what's over here on the top of the microphone. Here, let's see if I can get those things. You can see this mic matches over here. And the other one is over there on, I don't know if you can read it or not, 154, but it's the same situation. Yeah. 
And the mics will be on different frequencies, obviously. Uh, okay, all right, let's see here what's... Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm hitting the exit button. I want to hit enter. There she goes. Oh, no, you were on a different... Um... That's all right. Here we go. We're going to... Okay. okay. Uh, and I think I told the folks before, they already... I, we've already been through how to navigate through this thing, so... All right, let's see. Well, actually, this part of the video is going to get shown first, so they haven't been through this. But I'll just give you a little... This is the default uh, video. They, it's something will always come up. Let me. What am I doing here? All of a sudden, I've, it's hard. To, it's hard to remember to point at the uh, karaoke player, <laughs> and I constantly miss. Yeah, it's count. It's, it feels counterintuitive because well, not counterintuitive, just unnatural because you're used to pointing at the TV. Right. So let's go over there to artist again. Yeah. Like we talked last time, hit artist, and we will hit. Uh, all right, let's go over. Let's let's hit Rivers R. I V E R S. Johnny Rivers or Johnny Rivers. Man. All right, now we're gonna get over there to Johnny Rivers. We can see Johnny Rivers on the right. Darn it. Okay. Okay. Let's. Uh, all right. Let's do. Uh, then your catalog for Johnny Rivers. There she count. Up. All right. And you hit enter when you're over J Secret Agent Man. If you want to sing, dr let's see if the mics are on. I'll get over here. Wait. Is it on? Yeah. Is it, is it working? If you're on fifty. There's a man holy. Am I on over there? Danger. No. Are you on channel 50? Yeah. He uh. meets, he stays a stranger. Hold on, dude. With every move he makes. Um, right now I'm not registering. Hello, hello, hello? Yeah, no, it, it says it's on mute. Can I see the mic button? Yeah. Okay, okay. I think you should be good now. Where was the mute button? Well, I think this is like, this button is essentially an all-encompassing button. You hold it long to turn off, but if you just want to mute it for a second, you see that mute icon? Oh, okay. Let me show them, let me show them this. You, you can also use this uh, button right here to mute the uh, microphone. Uh, and if you push it again, it should come back on. There's a little icon in there that shows you that it's on mute. Chance he takes, can you hear me? So it's still reading mute on this player. So hmm. Wait, wait. still I screwed over here still. Okay, actually now, yeah, I think okay. you're, you're in, you, you were too close, hello, so it, it yeah. I can't hear me, so I don't know. Hold on, well, hello, hello, hello. let me just adjust your sound. Try it now. Agent Man. Now you're coming through. Hey, you were a number, and taken away your name. So, I see this one. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I think I hear it. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so we have microphones working, and oh, incidentally, you can tell, because, shouldn't I just, yeah, you can see it, uh, registering my voice right here and uh, so okay we've got the mics working okay just turned off the mic all right so we worked out so what I get a hook to the TV well I guess we did that right yeah 
So we fucked them on we we done all this then. Uh-huh. Right. Is there anything else that we need to know how to do that you can think of? So the, actually one of the issues here when we were going through was just, you know, you have to make sure of course that your cable, this cable was out just a little bit, which that's your mic hookup. Um, Why is that? Well, it's, you... Wait, can you show me that again? Well, this, and I don't want to unhook it really, but, well, I guess it won't do any harm. All right. But this was in like this, so your connection wasn't oh, okay. as secure as it needs to be. Um, so yeah, just a, a minor issue, but the one yeah, that's really problematic. Funky, this is the funky wiring I was talking about. It goes from the back to the front. It goes from the back of the uh, microphone uh, box to the front of the amplifier. And it's a very, it's a short black uh, cable, so anyway, so that's what he was talking about. Make sure that that's plugged in properly up here. Just make sure it's in there. Okay. Okay, well, Aaron Lenz, thank you for your help. Anytime. <laughs> hey, I could not have gotten this put together without him. All right. Uh, I'll start off. Oh. This is the, uh, the song book, 45,000 songs. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't counted them. I don't know if there are really 45,000 songs in there. There may be 45 different, 45,000 different tunes, but some of them have three or four versions of the same song. A lot of karaoke, karaoke singers know that certain versions are better than others, and so it's good to have a little bit of variety like, like that. So that's both uh, a good thing and, I guess, a bad thing. Um, but uh, you do, there's a large number of songs in there. There's no question about it. Let me just sort of show you. Now this the, this is just a list of songs in alphabetic order. They don't list these by artist, but I'll show you how to figure that out on the system itself anyway. As you can see, over here are some numbers. You need to know those numbers to plug in the songs. Here's the songs and here's the artist. Um, and as you can see, there are, like I'll give you an example. Uh, over here, you got Golden Years, uh, that's by David Bowie, and there's only one song there of that version. But if you wanted Gone, for example, uh, you can see there are three, ver four, five, six, seven versions, eight versions of it listed down the page. So that's eight different publications of it. But there's still a ton of songs in here, uh, so a nice selection. Um, and those songs are basically, they do away with uh, the need to have things like DVDs or CDs or whatnot, which certainly makes it easier to get around in. Uh, you don't have so much stuff to transport. Because uh, I remember the old days when they used to have to have a lot of CDs. Okay, this is very important here. This is the uh, the um, the remote, and we're going to learn. Uh, you can. Um, I'm relatively sure. I don't know for sure, but I, you probably can hook up your laptop and do a lot of this stuff. But we're going to learn how to do this on the remote that comes with the system. The exit button is very important. Basically, if you want to bail out of a situation and start over again, that's that's the key button right there. Exit. There's your enter button. Anytime you make a selection, you hit enter right there in the middle. If you want to find the name of an artist, you normally can type it in down here in the letter pad. And the number pad is if I showed you the numbers, if a selection is made, you can key them in up here. Um, you can control the volume. There's several different ways to control volume. One is on the remote here. Um, uh, the speed buttons, I'm not sure how, how they work uh, right now. I've tried them. I've 
but these buttons this plus and minus you can actually make a song go a little bit sharp or a little bit flat that helps some singers who are a little bit off or they may a song may be slightly out of their range and you can take it down a notch or two or up a notch or two you can take it sharp or flat it's very useful for some singers um, the return button is to go back to your previous screen that's very useful the menu button is very useful too because that helps you that's sort of like a return button also um, this f uh, button right here freezes the song right wherever you are and this one will stop the song right there and go to the next song that black button right there um, so that's briefly your remote. Uh, we're going to show it in action here in one second. Okay, so let's let's just uh, turn on the system. I'll pan over here for a second to uh, hopefully show uh, the system in action. Turn on the amplifier down here where it says power turn on the karaoke box itself right here oh I better turn on the power strip <laughs> that might help let's see here yes okay so the amplifiers on the karaoke machine is coming on you gonna ramp up and here is the microphone box I am not going to use the microphone right now I'm just turning it on really to show you that it works. These of course are the antenna. Um, I, uh, I will tell you this, I, I just recently, just about a few seconds ago, got off my laptop so my own hotspot is working. The connectivity to the cloud is through the hotspot to begin with. It's programmed into my hotspot. But the fact of the matter is, is if I turn this hotspot off, if I turned it off and didn't use it at all, the, after it's programmed in, the system itself seems to have gained its own ability to be its own hotspot, and I don't even think I need it anymore. Uh, we're going to find out because I turned it off but uh, that's sort of a unique aspect of the system here okay let me just say this you can control the volume down here and in my case this is very rudimentary of course right here this button right here the, if you use this button right here it'll blow the roof off so be very careful if you try to control the volume here this will control it uh, a little more softly um, less drastic. Like I said, you can also control it on the remote thing right here. And of course the mic have their own volume controls up here. Okay. So, I think we're about ready to uh, hit back on over here if I can... Okay, let's see. Now naturally to turn on the TV we have to use our own television remote and we hit the return. Okay. Power on. My TV always. Okay. Okay. It's reciting, it's coming in. I'm actually using my second HDMI spot, and it's apparently it's telling me we're getting uh, internet connection uh, through the hotspot, so everything is good. This is the key place over here. If we, we for our purposes right now, unless uh, uh, the guy that's going to come in to show you how the, to do the electronic setup uses the settings thing, but we're not going to use these portions right here and if you ever scroll around see what you do is you use these arrows right here if you scroll around oh point it at the amplifier uh, or at the karaoke system because if you point it there it won't work um, so uh, but we don't need these areas what we want is karaoke over here there 
so if I want I take it over to scroll over using the buttons to get over to karaoke then I hit and that's where we are as you can see we're back over to karaoke then I just hit enter okay now at this point there's going to be a default they always have default tunes going as you can see it was very loud excuse me all right and there's the words for the singers to use right there they come up now believe me it sounds a lot different when the there's no vocal track going with these so if it sounds like it's a little bit bare bones you're getting a little bit of a misperception there I have this speaker pointed a little bit away so you won't quite hear that channel over there on the left as well as the one perhaps on the right but anyway trust me everything's working all right so okay now well, let's suppose that we want somebody wanted to hear uh, uh, golden years <clears throat> well if I if they, they picked up our catalog here and said golden years I could see it was 904574 okay so all I gotta do here is hit point it at the amplifier 904 what was it 574 five seven four and you see it's come up here on the screen then I just hit enter and you can see golden years David Bowie's song sort of an old timer here all right good song though um, excuse me Now you're hearing the, you're he hearing the backing vocals. Saying so you don't hear him singing, that's because the, so the karaoke singer would be singing David Bowie's part. Okay, now let's suppose we're sick and tired of this song already and we want to freeze it. We hit this button right here. Right there where my index finger is. That and then if we want to stop the song and go to the next song and let's suppose at this point we don't know what other song we want we might be able to plug in another song let's say let's try for example um, uh, uh, okay Bobby Darren if I were a carpenter 90 which is as you can see on my thing here is 902269 for a firewall carpenter let's try to see what happens 9 see the 9 come up 02269 okay so th with that I can hit now let's suppose I uh, I hit a seven by mistake see and now I'm all screwed up well what you do is what I found is the fastest way to get rid of it is just hit you know nine 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 and it'll, if you and it'll take all the things out and so then you can start all over pretty fast nine oh two two six nine nine oh two two six nine point it at the amplifier hit enter Okay, see now I've got a cue going. I'm still in golden years, but if I were carpenters up here and if I just wanted to skip the rest of this song, I just hit the black little button here. Okay, and now if I were a carpenter should come up. Give it a second. Here it is, okay. It's a great song. See, I can control the volume here also, not just on the amplifier. Several places I can do it, but like I said, I can I can do it up there and also up here right here 
But if you could sing like Bobby Darren, uh, you could be singing the tune right here. Um, all right, so that, so let's cut that off. Okay, so that's that's how you directly plug it in if you know what the song is and if you know what the number is. But let's suppose you have a customer who wants to uh, sing a Christina Aguilera song, Fighter. Okay, what do you do? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to get out of here. How do you do that? You hit exit right where my thumb is up here. Exit. Then you scroll, You and it says you want to exit. You say... You want to get over there to yes, so you hit the over arrow button and you're over there to yes, then you hit enter. Okay, you want to be back in karaoke. You hit the pretty girl. And then, now this is an important screen. If you don't know the song, or if you even have the song, but you know the artist, you want to get to here. The, the key things here are this one, this one, and this one. Let's go back, return. All right, so let's use the arrow buttons to get over to artist. You see it's highlighted artist. Okay, and then you hit enter. Okay, now we know, we, we can go over here to the pad and scroll over. Now we're at K there, we go up there, get over there, to A and we could hit and hit enter and an A will come up and you can do that for every letter in the word Aguilera but we don't want to do that so we'll just type in the rest of her name A G uh, U I think I hope. and here she is down here after I just aging so now you got to get the cursor over here to Christina Aguilera so you come over and usually if, once you scroll across here it'll bounce over here again so then you got to get back in here and we are now we got to get there we go so we use these arrows again to get there and then we hit enter now we got more than this for just Christina she has several different sections here but we found we're lucky we found fighter right away so it's fighter comes up we can all we have to do is hit we could have gone let's go back return please okay see we if if we wanted the voice within we could have hit the down arrow and then hit enter but we don't we want fighter so let's go back up and hit enter see that way that's the way we get to us particular song if we know the artist but we don't know if we have the song and on this one we're lucky because we get the MTV video with this And the re let me just say this, the reason I have the uh, volume down right now is I'm, I'm really not doing the system justice. I could blow the roof off of this place, but I'm filming this at uh, 1130 at night and I have neighbors. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, like right through this wall. So uh, I can't uh, do any better than this right now in terms of... Okay, so let's say that we think this is a great song, but we, we, the, the girl that was trying to sing it can't sing it, so she wants to try something else. So we, what we'll, we'll do is we can freeze it, and we'll say, well, what would you like to sing? And she might say, well, I want to sing, uh, I want to sing uh, Honky Tonkin by uh, Hank Williams. <laughs> Straits. All right, so that's we look in our book and it's 907731. So what do we do? We hit all we got to do is hit 90. Here, here it comes 907. What is it? 907731. 
on our little number pad and then we hit enter don't point it it comes up there so then we go okay let's she says let me hear the rest of that song I said well I'm tired of you I don't want to play the rest of that song so let's go to the next song I love Christina Aguilera incidentally she's a fellow Pittsburgher but uh, uh, okay here's a Hank Williams song Alright, kind of a rockin' tune by Hank Williams. Um, in his day, quite uh, quite a popular guy. Alright, so anyway, so that's how we do that. Now let me just say this. Let's, let's hit exit and get out of here for a second. Now see, like, we want to hit karaoke. It's like I said, what we're going to want to do always in all these is we... we we don't need to mess along around with this unless we want to change the language that we're going to see. But like I said, we're always going to want to be here an artist or sometimes a number. If you, you can get into that screen, if you want to go straight to the, you're almost always there by default anyway. Um, menu. No, let's do. All right, let's get out of this. When in doubt, and you're you hit exit. Get over there to yes, and then you're back again. Now, I'm just going to tell you, if, if, uh, like I said, you want to get over here to artists, that's the main place you want to be. Sometimes over there directly in numbers, or sometimes down here in search over here. Uh, those are the main places. But anytime, I'm just going to tell you, anytime you, uh, if, if for some reason you find yourself in Cody down here, or it's one of these other places and you get stuck and you can't get back to this screen uh, what I found is is the old tried and true reboot turn the system off unplug things and then plug everything back in and the screen will come up to the default like this and you'll be back in business so uh, if, if that happens I found that that works quite well um, uh, Anyway, so um, that is sort of, that is a very simplistic, very early rudimentary. As I learn more about this system, I'll be glad to share it. But uh, that's pretty much uh, how it works right now. And uh, I want to thank you for visiting. And we're uh, learning the system. And uh, happy karaokeing out there. This is David Lentz uh, for uh, ReasonAndBalance.com. Boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-boo-